Good morning, children. Today I am going to explain Chapter Five, A Stormy Day, written by Anna Siebel. I have already given you the introduction of the chapter. So before I could start with the explanation, I will give you a briefing about this chapter. The story is taken from the novel Black Beauty, and the horse himself is narrating the story about his life from his young days. Till his happy retirement. Now the name of the horse is Beauty. Now Beauty had a a very loving and kind master named Douglas Gordon, and the groom, the caretaker who took care of Beauty, was his name was John. Now one evening, while Beauty was on a journey, returning back from a from a journey and going back home. So there was a terrible storm that came. Now please pay attention while I read and explain the chapter, and we will come to know what exactly happened. It was the season of autumn. My master had to go on a long journey. Now it was a season of autumn. Now during the season of autumn, leaves keep falling from the trees, and they scatter around everywhere, and. Beauty's master had to go on a journey. He had to go on a long journey. Now this journey was they had to go to another town and they had to cross a bridge. I was put into the dog cart and John went with me. Now Beauty was being all ready. She was put in a dog cart and John, the caretaker or the groom. Set a uh, set. Uh, he's prepared for the journey to start. I like going to uh, going in the dog cart. It was light, and the wheels ran along pleasantly. Now, a dog cart is a carriage which is used to uh, which has been pulled by a horse. Now, this dog cart or this carriage. That beauty was being put. She loved going in this carriage. Now the reason why she loved going in this carriage was first and foremost was that this carriage was very light. It had two wheels, big wheels. It was a two-wheeled carriage, and it moved very smooth, smoothly. Presently means it moved very smoothly. The wheels moved very smoothly. They had been a great deal of rain. And now the wind was very high, and the blue and blew the dry leaves across the road in shower. Now there had been a great deal of rain. They had a few hours ago. They had good rain, and the leaves that fell from the trees, the the strong wind started blowing the wheel, uh, the, started blowing the leaves and scattering them all the places. We went along merrily till we came to the toll bar and the low wooden bridge. They went along happily. They were very overjoyed. They were very happy, as it was a pleasant uh, day. The weather was very pleasant, and they were enjoying the ride till they came to a uh, to the toll bar. And near the toll bar, there was a low bridge. The river banks were rather high. And the bridge, instead of rising, went across just level. Now the river banks were quite high, but but the bridge, in, instead of rising, it went at the same level. It was at the same level. If the river was full, the water would nearly be up to the wood uh, woodworks and planks in the middle. Now, if the river was full, or if the river was flooded, what happened was. Due to the weight of the bridge, in the middle, the planks that was being placed in the bridge, you were quite low, and the water used to overflow or even touch the bridge. But as there were strong winds on each side, people did not mind. Now, but as there were strong winds, now this bridge was being supported by with two strong winds. On both the sides and tied with strong ropes, so people did not mind crossing that bridge, as they were they had as that bridge was being properly maintained, proper uh, care was being taken of the bridge, 
and moreover people used to collect some money or whenever they passed that bridge they collected money and that money was used in maintenance of that bridge so it wasn't uh, it they never felt any danger using that bridge the man at the gate said the river was rising fast and he feared it would be a bad night now the toll bridge in, in charge said that the river was rising fast the water level of the river was increasing very fast and he thought that it is going to be a bad night why he thought that because he knew as the water level was rising and as they were having a great deal of storm and rain for continuously so he was fearing that the water level might overcross the uh, mean might go across the bridge and the bridge might be submerged in the middle with the water many of the meadows were under water and in and in one low part of the road the water was half up to my knees now many of the meadows that was near the road or near the bridge were covered were submerged with water all the plants or the trees or grasses were submerged with water and some parts of the road they had water till knee depth knee depth but the master drove gently so it was no matter the master liked to go in a very gentle way he never used to go in a he never the master never had a, a way of a rough driving so he moved very gently and moreover he might he had been using this bridge quite often to go out of town for other businesses so he never feared anything bad children i will explain the remaining chapter in the next class until then thank you